Hey, artists, let's talk about some of the do's and don'ts of skeletal structures, right? As you explore the internal, internal mechanisms of your cartoon characters, you want to make certain that you strive for accuracy. And that's going to involve some research, some creative interpretation, and some logic, right? So let's take a look at our anteater here, for example. Now, when we break this guy down, let's see here. We're going to create a silhouette first. That doesn't mean every intricate detail. It means the outline of his body so that we can try to draw the skeleton inside without being distracted by, say, his waistcoat, his, his socks, his pants, etc. We just want to get the basic structure of the body. But take a look at what you want to bear in mind moving forward. Here, Piglet was drawn, and that's a really detailed, pretty impressive skeleton. The illogical, kind of weird part, when you zoom in, notice that that skeleton butts right up against the silhouette. We want to avoid that because that's not accommodating for, say, the width of skin, muscle, cartilage, or fat. And in the case of a piglet, and a baby piglet, no less, with that much more baby fat, you'd think there'd at least be a little, a little meat between ribs and skin, right? Now, when you probably fell off your bike as a child, you probably remember, or, you know, just fell skating or what have you, you probably remember, yeah, it hurts, right here where my pelvis is, there's not much meat between say the pelvis and your skin. It makes sense that it comes right out to the edges here. And even with the ribs, you can feel ribs pretty close, but not so close that it's like erupting through the silhouette. But say when you fall on your bum, like there's more meat there, more padding, so it doesn't hurt as much. You wanna consider this sort of insulation around the body too. Perfect example, Ariel here by this artist, Chris Panda. Really nice spacing. You can see the arm bones equidistant in width to the left and the right, that meat around the arm. It's going right through the center. Same thing here, even despite the bend. Shifts gears at the elbow here, heads in a new angle. But with each time, you have an equal amount of tissue to the left and the right. That's really good design. Same here in the fish's body. Now take a look at Boss Baby here, right? Now, first we start by creating the silhouette, okay? Then we're going to draw the skeleton inside of it. Now, in that case, it does actually help to let yourself see a bit of, say, the eye sockets. We need to know where the eyes are so that we can figure out the placement accurately of those sockets. So we might wanna see some features lightly pencil out with pencil underneath that silhouette, but we're gonna keep any of those markings and details really light in pencil so that the darker, more confident line work can be applied to the, uh, the skeleton as it builds up. And thus that's our focus. Now. You can see the eye sockets a little bigger than the eyes, and that makes sense because when you look at your eyes, well, you're only seeing about 30% of it. The actual orb, the sphere of the full eye is much larger back there and that much more horrifying in horror movies when like an eye pops out of a socket. So sockets, a little bigger. We want to make certain that our jaw lines up with the contour, the curve of this part of the mouth, that the nasal cavity is in line with the nose. These are all things we want to consider. And that even includes like the bend of the spine. Even relaxed or standing straight up and down, well, the human spine is never quite straight. And that's true with most animals. Like with the human spine, you'll see a sort of S curve feeding from the back of the skull right down through the ribs, like right down into the pelvis. And that's something you want to bear in mind. Here, you can see the spine is like illogically straight. The rib cage is a little too far over to one side and things look fairly flat. We wanna caution against that and really strive for realism. So do your research and check out skeletons, both human and animal from multiple angles to try to get the curves, bends and placement accurate when you draw yours, okay?